Hi friends, Itheria here. And I know I already talked about Island Sanctuary, but that was before I maxed out and basically finished everything on my island. So now that I'm level 10 and have even played enough to get the 24k mount, I think I can offer a little bit more insight than before. So this is kind of like part two of everything wrong with Island Sanctuary, or perhaps you could call it a wish list. I do want to note that I freaking love Island Sanctuary. I don't know why. I can't explain it, but I'm always on my island, okay? I spend a lot of time there doing absolutely nothing because once you get maxed out, there's not really much to do. Do. And that's kind of what this whole thing is going to be about. So let's just get started with my wish list slash improvements slash everything wrong part two. So the first thing I want to talk about is the mammoths. You can set your mammoths to take care of your animals or your crops. The problem is you have to click on them one by one. If there's a way to do this without clicking one by one, please let me know because I have not found it. I have not seen anything in the menu for this. And when you realize, you know, you have like 20 animals, okay, most of us are gonna have all of our animals maxed. I don't even know how many crops there are, but it's 20 or more, right? That's a lot of clicking. So there needs to be a way to just click like take care of all. Next I want to talk about the rewards and I think that the rewards should be made tradable. Even if it is something where every time a new patch drops and there's more stuff to do on the island they don't make them tradable right away, I still think they need to be made tradable eventually. The reason I say that is because not everyone is going to want to do Island Sanctuary. Some people find this really boring, they feel that it's a chore, it's just content that they absolutely don't want to do. Everybody has content they hate. For me it's craft. I absolutely abhor it. I just cannot stand crafting and gathering. I hate that to basically do anything you have to be an Omni crafter. I just, I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. And there are probably some people who feel that way about Island Sanctuary. The thing is, with crafting and gathering, I can buy things from crafters and gatherers. That's the whole point, right? So I don't really lose out. I mean, obviously crafting and gathering is a great way to make money, but otherwise I'm not missing out on anything. However, the rewards from Island Sanctuary, if it's something that you can't stand the way that I can't stand crafting, well, you just don't have an option. Like either you do it or you miss out on the rewards. So I really hope that they will eventually make them tradable because I honestly think it'll be beneficial both to people who just don't want to do Island Sanctuary and to people who do like it because the people who don't like it will be able to buy stuff and the people who do will be able to make money off of the island. I touched on this in my first video, but I'm gonna say it again. I want decorations. Uh, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this point since I did say it before, but I think the Otter Fountain was a step in the right direction because first of all, it was really cute, and second of all, it adds a little more uniqueness to the island. So even if they don't do outdoor furnishings, I would love to see more things like the Otter Fountain. However, I don't think every single one should be crafted because you either, again, have to be a goddamn piece of- I'm sorry guys, I just hate crafting. You either have to be an Omni Crafter at freaking level 90 OP Crafter or you have to pay like 10 mil to buy it. So obviously it's gonna be cheaper when crafters get better gear and it'll be easier to craft, but I think my point remains. If they add more, sure, I guess if you want to make some of it crafted, fine, but some of it should be Kauri based. Another quality of life thing I would like to see would be taking your workshop agenda and being able to like switch around the days without having to delete everything. So let's say I make the agenda and on day one I have like, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I just, I have an agenda on day one. I have it all filled out and then I'm like, wait, I don't have enough supplies for this, but I will after my granary goes out for like two days. I wish you could then take that agenda and like swap its place with another one. Just that way you wouldn't have to delete the whole thing because it's annoying. Now, I said at the beginning of the video that once you reach max level, there's pretty much nothing to do, and this is true. All you're really going to be doing is feeding your livestock, gathering your crops, planting more crops, and occasionally gathering items for your workshop. But honestly, if you're spending more than like 20 or 30 minutes a day doing stuff on your island, you're probably not maxed. Like there's there's hardly 30 minutes a day of stuff to do, and that's being generous. So I wish they would find a way 
to make Island Sanctuary more engaging, but not be something that is like a chore or a necessity to do. Because I don't think there should be like boring daily quests or anything of that sort. But it could be fun if they were to add maybe something like a mini game or something that you could play, even if it wasn't an everyday thing, like an every week thing. I really don't know how to fix the issue of there being nothing to do without them turning it into a chore. Because I just, I really just feel like we don't want chores, but like I said, maybe some sort of mini game. I think it was kind of cool to go and play Pokemon and capture some of the animals. So imagine if there was like some sort of little instanced game, kind of like Pokemon Go, I don't know, like just some sort of little instanced game you could play. That might be fun. I just feel like they need to find a way to make it more engaging and interactive because if you enjoyed, because for some strange reason, I actually enjoyed leveling everything up. But now that I'm Max, I'm sad that there's nothing left for me to do. So I don't know, it could be like mini games that have to do with capturing animals or I don't know, something to do with gardening. I just feel like we could, we could find something more. I don't know what that is. All I know is that it shouldn't be a chore. And finally, this last one is a little bit of a bonus. I want a barn, okay? Every time it rains, my livestock are just out in the open getting rained on. Like, I'm glad that it doesn't make them grumpy, but like, how doesn't it make them grumpy? Like, how shitty? But anyways, that's everything from me. As always, do leave a comment letting me know if there's anything that you would like to see added to Island Sanctuary, any changes that you think would be improvements. And don't forget to leave a sacrifice for Lord Algorithm in the form of a like, comment, share, or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!